Hello everybody, Dolphin Oracle back again. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, customizing the Antics desktop. Now I've already opened the Antics Control Center, but in case you've forgotten, there's a little toolbar down here that says Control Center. You click on that and up comes Control Center. And the first tab you're going to see is the Desktop tab. And from here we can choose a lot of things. We can customize the wallpaper, change our GTK2, now that's just a fancy word for the theming inside of the windows and our icon themes which is just like what it sounds as icons so we're going to do that I'm going to open up another window so we can see some of the changes as they happen the first thing we'll do is we're going to choose our wallpaper and you can select a picture and choose whatever wallpaper you want you can navigate to anywhere in your file system uh, we got some pretty colorful ones, some dark ones, some cool ones uh, I think we'll pick um, I think we'll pick the dog. Campai. And there is the Antics dog. What a great dog. Okay. So we'll come back up to um, our control center after we change the theme. And if, well, maybe we don't want the dog. Maybe we want to go back to the basic uh, Antics screen. Or perhaps the dark galaxy theme that matches the slim startup. Well, all you have to do is apply again. Okay, so now that we've got our wallpaper chosen, let's uh, change our icon and GTK2 theme. GTK2 themes. Now you see we have lots of pre-installed themes here on the widget toolbar. Widget tab rather all sorts of things. There's other um, themes available through the Synaptic Package Manager. You can download them from lots of different websites. Um, Gnome Looks being a good one. Uh, we are going to pick Zukit Wu Dark because I happen to like that theme. So we're going to click Apply and you will see our windows change. You can see the Annex window got a little darker inside and the Rocks window, File Manager window, got a little darker inside too. Okay, so let's choose an icon theme. We go to the icon tab, and the default theme for Antics is simply gray, and it's a very nice theme. I like a little more color in my desktop. I, I've actually installed two, uh, two more icon themes through the Synaptic Package Manager, uh, and I'm partial to the human icon theme. Uh, so I'm going to click on human. That's not installed by default. You can find it in the Synaptic Package Manager by uh, in the search line type in human and you will see human icon theme come up that's the name of the package so I'm going to click apply and you're going to see the icons in rocks change and the toolbar they use the standard icons in its toolbar window it's one race reason I had the rocks toolbar window open nothing happens to the antics control center icon because these are coded during a via a different way. And you'll notice that the icons on the desktop did not change either. These are actually individually uh, set. And if you want to change them, you have to um, uh, you have to uh, set the icon for each individual one. And you can click on this show button here and get uh, a list of icons. You can navigate through the icon themes. Here's a human theme and you can see uh, different icons that you can use. You just browse through the user share icons directory for your for all the icon themes that are installed. You can drag each one to the to to the file. So this is um, this is writer, so I that's that's the LibreOffice writer. I'm just gonna get crazy and use the old uh O O O, that's the old open office icon. And you can see it changed it right on the right on the screen. I am going to change that back to simply gray just because I like things to match. Let's see, writer, 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 writer. Whoops, the uh, it uh, went away. Writer. And there we go, right, and that is that easy to change the icons on the desktop. Okay, so now we've changed our wallpaper, our icons, and our window themes. You'll notice that the iSwim 
ISWM window frames haven't changed, nor has the toolbar configuration or, or uh, theme. That's because the ISWM themes are available directly from the toolbar in Settings, Themes. We have several themes to choose from. Uh, you can choose any theme you like, anything that matches. The default is blue crystal and the bees. I happen to be fond of Antix Blue, so I'm going to change my theme to Antix Blue. So we have one more area where we need to change the icons to make it match our system, and that's here inside the rocks window itself. The rocks toolbar changed when we changed the icons in the GTK2 and icon theme app, but it did not change inside rocks itself, and that's because rocks uses its own theming for the icons it displays. You can access that by doing a right click inside the rocks window and coming down to options. There's all sorts of options here for you to play with and make rocks look and act the way you like, but the theming is down here in types, and then you'll see icon theme simply gray. We can go up to the human theme, and now it will match the way I like it to match. Okay, so that's it for customizing your desktop. Uh, again, we're for questions and help, go to annex.freeforms.org or check out the tips, tricks, and how to's at antics.mepis.org. You can drop a line in the comments, but you're going to get a faster response from the forums. Have a great day.